Chalala, hey Chalala. What do you mean? There will be only card games. I want my car, may ha, may ha. Oh, Hi everybody, this is Cosmo Vanguards. I'm the captain here and I have... I have... I'm the only one here. Hi everybody, this is Cosmo Vanguards. I'm the captain here and today, we actually have the new trial deck for Link Joker uh, with us today. Uh, yes, normally I have another person opposite me trying to help me hype up the thing together with me But I assure you this is as hype as I can get while I'm doing this by my lone self <laughs> So the trial deck has released uh, on this day right now You guys can actually see the, the release dates both in English and in Japanese on your screens right now So uh, for Japanese the, the trial deck has actually dropped down And we are actually going to be taking a look into it and what's inside So this is actually, let's start out with the name first So this is actually, there's some Japanese that can read here this is uh, Saitan no Messiah which I believe the name of the trial deck is um, Messiah of Rebirth yes Sa yeah I believe that is the, the, the English name I'm not wrong if I'm wrong then you guys can, can see over there but this one includes the new trial deck uh, for Link Joker Messiah specifically is the deck that will be used by uh, Koji Ibuki in Card Fight Vanguard G anime so uh, Card Fight Vanguard GZ so that should be more specific on that front as well. So we just look at the packaging right now. So it's your normal trial deck. Now, uh, normally we did the the um, the sets, the supply sets, but of course they stopped doing the supply sets since the uh, Nubatama one. So what you see here is what you get. And basically, yeah. So in front here, we actually see Koji Ibuki. He's the, the protagonist for using this deck as well. You see Alter Ego Neo Messiah at the front here. At the back here, well, um, it's all the information that you need, which includes your deck list. This is the symbol that is a trial deck. This is the symbol that is uh, for Link Joker. And some of the other information that might not be relevant to you, depending on which side of the counter that you are at. So, alrighty. So, um, let's just get straight into it right now. I've pulled off all of the, the tape, at least at this point of time. Just, eh, there we go. So, the outer layer is out and inside. Well, one thing to point out is that you actually get a bromide. It's actually a twin-sided bromide. So, once I get the tape off of here, and that bromide actually contains uh, images of Koji uh, Ibuki as well as Noah Hoshizaki. Those are the two Link Joker players that's in the Kafe Vega GZ anime. Uh, currently right now, so if you don't like seeing um, Noah over there for reasons which I can only imagine what There's just Koji Ibuki right over there so that you can choose which side you want to pin up to the wall over there Right, so we put that out of the side now um, As always every trial deck comes with the it's, uh, with its first guide So the first guide explains all of the the how to play Vanguard stuff over there and now it's front by 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 Ibuki himself and not Kazuma which has been recycled for quite a while um, and not only that also there's also the uh, let me just pull this open right here normally this would be easier by another person but oh well the uh, playmat the paper playmat that you get over here so it's a nice grey it fits with the messiah motif which is all grey and stuff and at the back here we can see that it's um, Koji Ibuki there's no U in the middle of Koji so it's just Koji which is I don't know, might be weird, I have to see what themselves say about that But essentially, it actually, it's actually a more thorough guide on how you actually would play this deck uh, As compared to the first guide, the first guide actually teaches you how to play This one will actually teach you how to play the deck As well as how it should be boosted up when you get your new boost From the clan booster which is actually released on the same day as this trial deck Which uh, if you guys want to see the other video over there You guys can actually uh, find it on our channel right over there uh, We'll see if we can link it up somewhere, maybe in the description box or maybe on the i we'll, we'll see what we do from there If you are interested in the clan booster Right, so we'll just push this out to one side and let's get to the main event itself which is the trial deck Yes so, uh, with every trial deck, it comes with the, the clan sim uh, with the clan card over there, so I don't know what's on the other side. But just like the previous uh, trial decks ever since the, the Nobatama one with uh, Shirini Mukuro, uh, you actually can get a chance, a 1 in 6 chance, of uh, getting a SP card for, for, for Alter Ego Neo Messiah over here. So let's see if we'll get that, so I'm just gonna do the, I'm just gonna time leap right now, so... 
And as you can see, I didn't get the SP for, for this product. So it's in the other four that I didn't buy out from there. That huge row of six and such. But anyways, um, this is part of here. Now this is the clan card, uh, which you see here. It's a nice, um, you know, clan card with a full art of Alter Ego Neo Messiah on there. The 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 symbol at the back there. This is actually really nice. Just a solid printed as it always does. So good to see that there are some things that are still consistent uh, with uh, their printing in terms of that. But at the same time also, other consistent things include the trial deck itself which actually gives you, continues to give you the two G Guardians in your trial deck uh, alongside with the two strikes and as well as four perfect guards and other important stuff like your strike orders, destiny dealer and all the other jazz and you know what's in this trial deck uh, as we go along, you'll find out soon enough. So, uh, we always start out with our triggers first, so uh, we'll just go down the triggers. So this one, uh, I don't have Dempster with me, so I might not be able to get some of the names right, and I'm bad at reading Japanese uh, at this point in time, so I'm not reading them fast enough. But basically, this is the critical trigger. I believe this is um, Supi... Supikuru... <laughs> yeah, I'm quite bad at this, but you guys can see what the... the, the uh, the names on there. I won't try to read them all, but um, I'll read as best as I can. So this is your stand trigger, which is a uh, broad sword. I believe this one is like, um, you know, sword of something than broad sword, which is kind of funny. I like the name a lot for that. Uh, we also have our heel trigger, which is another, um, you know, providential child or maybe a child of something. Uh, which is known for, uh, which is what Messiah is known for on this, uh, you know, with all that naming naming sense. So, uh, last one also that we have here is your draw trigger right now. So this is actually a reprint from the original trial deck. Uh, you guys are seeing the name right now, but uh, basically its skill is that uh, it's an X skill from the regard circle. So you move this unit to the soul, choose one of units, it gets plus 3k. So this is actually a reprint. There are only two copies in the original trial deck. This is the second Link Joker trial deck that has come out officially for, 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 um, for Link Joker. And I want to also focus on Messiah, and this was actually the uh, the two draws that you get uh, when you actually buy the Trial So you needed to get two. That was in the the old the old ways of, of you know um, getting your Trial from there. So that is your your trigger lineup. Again, it's a Trial Deck, so there's standard triggers over there. Now let's move on to the top of the list, which is actually the strikes. So I'm gonna start up with the strike with the strike that you get from this set, which is actually um, Genesis Dragon. Uh, this is a uh, banding, um, band ring, uh, band ring messiah. So, all right. So basically, it's uh, its skill is that from on the Vega Circle Combat One. So when this unit attacks, you may pay that cost. If you do, choose any of your choose any of the back row rear guards, both your opponent or yours. Choose any uh, unit from there and lock it. Then choose one of your then choose one of the lock cards and unlock it. So this is actually a very very good uh, first strike uh, for. Uh, for most Link Jokers uh, at this point in time, uh, I had discussions with JJ previously long long ago about Link Jokers and he's always said that, you know, Link Jokers has always lacked a proper good first strike which is actually a bit of a shame because uh, you end up wasting stuff like Flagellate Messiah just so you can get to GB2 for any deck, not, not just for Messiah but also for for um, deleters and star raiders at the same time as well. So this is actually a pretty good first strike to, to get a hold on to. Now take note that, that, that this is a messiah because uh, when we hit Alter Ego, you, you'll soon uh, realize why. But before that, we actually have to get to our G Guardian, our new G Guardian. So this is actually a Lady Healer. So um, I'm not gonna try to remember the name as such, but I will be able to translate the skill for you, which is uh, when this unit appears in the Guardian Circle, uh, if you have, if there is a lock card, then you may pay the cost, which is Soul Blast One. Then if you do, this unit gets plus five K shield. Then, if you have a Messiah uh, Vanguard, then this unit gets plus five K shield. So this one actually kind of encourages you to have uh, to play at least like one locked unit on your opponent's side. Uh, if you guys see my my Messiah deck, it's a it's something that I dubbed Mercy Messiah. So maybe this is not up to my alley, but even if that's not even if I don't have a lock card on the field. Uh, just being able to have a, a uh, Messiah, just being able to have a Messiah Mega, you get plus additional 5k shield for that front, is actually kind of like a really really good thing to have. So uh, at least that's my own analysis of that. So, alright. Okay, so, um, oh yeah, and because it's a den, so I actually have to have a lock cut on the field in order to get the full benefit. So I may have to correct myself on that front. 
But moving on, uh, we'll go straight to the Ace Vanguard for here, which is Alter Ego Neo Messiah. So, uh, we go straight into the skills right now. Now, remember when I said that the um, that the stride in this set is a messiah? Well, that's because of Alter Ego Neo Messiah skill, which is uh, when you strike to G unit with Messiah in his original name, uh, then you may choose one card from your hand and call it to a regard circle. Then, um, then all fighters choose one of their regards and lock it. So, it requires that you strike to Messiah with the new Alter Ego Messiah. Uh, Alter Ego Messiah, Neo Messiah, you actually do need to strike to a Messiah in order to get off his strike skill, which is a big change uh, compared to uh, Alter Ego Messiah, which we will get to later. Uh, but at the same time, also, yeah, it kind of it kind of limits the thing so that it's Messiah, and for good reason because you know Link Jokers, they they, they want to go in the direction that Link Jokers don't want to be mixed together. That's my my best guess on that matter. Uh, but anyways, uh, there's more skills for Alter Ego Neo Messiah, which is actually his GB2 right now. So, uh, at the end of your turn, if they, if a card has been unlocked, uh, if a card has been unlocked this turn, uh, you may pay the cost, which is Soul Blast 1, if you do draw two cards. So this is actually a upgrade uh, from, uh, from Alter, Ego Neo, uh, Alter Ego Messiah, whereby you Soul Blast 1 and you draw for, draw one for every, um, um, unlock card that you have, which since I'm explaining, might as well go straight to the next card, which is actually uh, Alter Ego Neo Messiah, and I'll explain the two concurrently together. So, uh, basically, with Alter Ego Neo Messiah, now they swapped out around the skill, so the GB2 is at the bottom instead of the top. So, its first skill is that on the Vanguard Circle, uh, you basically when you G Unit strikes, you may count plus one and choose one of your regards and lock it. Uh, then, if you have paid that cost, then your opponent chooses one of his regards. Oh no, you choose one of your opponent's regards. Lock it, then after that choose your Vanguard, it gets plus 5k power. Its second skill is uh, GB2, which is uh, basically uh, whenever a card is unlocked, you may pay the cost, which is Soul Blast 1. If you do, this unit gets plus 1, uh, not this unit gets plus 1 draw, you draw a card. So, <laughs> uh, so looking both of them concurrently, you've got two copies of each of them. So far, we've got two copies of, of everything that we have here. Uh, basically, comparative of the two, they fit to two different situations, which I can guess that you can actually play two different Messiah decks uh, for the matter. One that actually lets uh, all strikes and the other that's only specifically Messiah. Now, as I mentioned, the difference between the two of these is the fact that you only need to Soul Blast 1 and draw, but most importantly than that, Alter Ego Neo Messiah actually gives you the ability to actually kind of like um, get the two draws as long as you have a card uh, unlocked on the field, then you get the two draws no matter what, which is actually quite great uh, considering um, how Ibuki actually plays in the enemy. We all know that he plays more aggressively, which is kind of like how I model my, my Mercy Messiah deck in a way. Uh, so he plays more aggressively and gets all of the unlocks off. He hardly ever leaves a lock cut on the field as far as I can remember. Uh, there might be one or two instances but don't quote me on that. Uh, but we can move on to the next card which is something you can quote me on that. So <laughs> if this was here, you say that's a nice segue. So anyways, uh, this is actually a, a new sub grid tree to support the two uh, Alter Ego Messiahs that you have here. Uh, this is, um, well, Wrist, wrist Rain. Wrist Rain Dragon, so I think I got the name correctly. So I got four copies of this, and basically its skill is on the regard circle. Uh, uh, when, a, when a lock card is unlocked, you may pay the cost, which is count plus one and move this unit into the soul. Then if you do, uh, choose uh, the unit that was unlocked. Oh no, um, hang on. So basically, um, when a card gets unlocked, uh, you may pay the cost which is actually color plus one and put this unit in the soul. Then if you do, uh, choose that unlock uh, choose that unlock card and lock it one more time. So this one actually guarantees that you'll have lock cards on the field uh, some way or another, I believe. But um, the next one is uh, Vanguard Regard Circle, which is GB1 skill. So when this unit attacks uh, for the battle, this unit gets plus 4k. So this one becomes a 14k attacker. Now if you put it on the Regard and then put a 7k behind, that's 31 right there. So that's 15k guard right off the bat, which is quite dangerous. And if I'm reading the skill correctly for this, uh, at least for the first skill, uh, it actually, you know, it actually reintroduces a, a lock on your side. So maybe being able to get a lock card on your field just for just for your Lady Healer, the, the, the G Garden in this set, or even better, you can keep an extra lock card if you want to unlock for, for uh, Destiny Guardian as well. So it's actually much more achievable through that regard, which is... You know, kind of neat that, that, that this is here. So it's considerable. It's a considerable card to play in this set. All right, moving on. So that's all the great trees that we have there. This is the great tools right now. So this is um, 
Uh, for Greek too, this is uh, Arubedo, uh, Albedo Con, uh, Albedo Condo. So uh, we got four copies of that. Now um, we come to the part where I start getting rage induced to a certain extent because uh, when I built my 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 Mercy Messiah deck. Uh, I actually had a hard time finding the Trotters because they were running low and it was such a long time since uh, they were released when I started looking for them. Uh, but one of the first cards that I have that I have right now in my hand is actually two copies of this card called Arrest the Messiah. So this is actually a reprint of um, you know of a card from GBT05, uh, Moonlit Dragon Fang. And basically its skill is that uh, when this unit appears in the Regard Circle, uh, if you have a Messiah, Great Tree, Great Tree or High Messiah Vanguard, then for the turn, this unit gets plus 2k and the skill, um, when this unit, at the end of the battle, this unit attacks, uh, you may pay the cost which is actually lock this card. Then if you do, choose any uh, unit, choose any rear guard in the back, uh, in the back row, both your opponents or yours, and lock it. So, um, the reason why I say it's rage inducing is because uh, if I had waited a bit longer, then I probably wouldn't have to go hunt down for all of these uh, you know, Arrested Messiahs which are actually so much needed back in the, the Messiah deck uh, back in the day. So whether they're still needed to this day is it's still up for debate with the with the new boost coming out in the clan booster as well as from here. We'll have to see from that point of time. So we'll give our thoughts when we reach that point. Alright, moving on, we go on to the second row. So this is we have three copies of this card. Now this card is um, um Metal uh, Metal Rear Metal Layer Messiah. So I'm getting the names right, I may be able to read this, holy hell. Alright, so basically this skill is that uh, by card effect, the first one, by card effect this unit cannot be locked. So uh, this is actually a good counter, or if you are planning around for Messiah, it's actually a good card to have on a few. Because of this GB1 skill, which is actually um, uh, when another card is uh, locked or unlocked, uh, is locked or unlocked, then for the turn this unit gets plus 3k. So I'm hoping that I'm reading that skill right, because you want to maintain the power for this unit so that he can get his plus 3k and then just have that plus 3k kind of like stack up very very high especially if you manage to strike to say uh, Amnesty or Excellus Messiah for the mass unlocks which is actually really 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 uh, combo heavy with this card so they give you 3 copies in the set now next one they give you is uh, the next card that we have here is actually Great Wall so this is actually your 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 10k vanilla uh, your 10k interceptor uh, it's not a generation interceptor because you can actually use it in the main phase but I'll read out the skill right now because I'm dilly dallying oh my god what am I doing this solo uh, but basically um, when this unit intercepts um, then uh, if you have a lock card then this unit gets plus 10k shield okay so this is actually much more different uh, in terms of you know uh, intercepting because you need to have a lock card on the field in order for this to get 10k shield which is actually uh, a great differentiation compared to what others have so I can't remember specifically for for um, for decks like the, the previous trial decks which is like in the Burma Triangle trial deck and the Numatama trial deck as well I don't know if that was uh, the case whereby it's specifically oriented towards the way that the deck plays but I'm digressing so we should get to the next card uh, which is um, Destiny Dealer so this is actually your um, you know strike order it's, yeah, that's the name for it. Uh, that's actually a strike fodder and again, this one is rage inducing because I could never find this card because it was so damn rare to... Not so damn rare, not just it's rare, it's expensive to get this card as well. Because it is a very important strike fodder in that the first skill is that when this unit appears in the regard circle from your hand, then you may reveal a great tree from your hand. That is the cost. Uh, then if you have paid that cost, then search your deck for a, unit with, a great tree unit with Messiah in its name. Uh, reveal it, add it to your hand, shuffle your deck, and then uh, choose one card from your hand and discard uh, discard it. So so this one lets you search out for, for Messiah that you need, the specific Messiah that you need. Uh, and also, um, this unit has the second skill which is from your hand while you're paying the cost of strike. This unit gets plus two grip. Alrighty, so that is Destiny Dealer. It's a very important card to have. and. Um, Trial decks these days have been getting their 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 strike for us or their the close counterparts uh, in terms of that. So yeah, I mean this is a really good addition to the the deck and it's much more needed. It helps people get started with the deck much more easier. Uh, it's much more easier in terms of entry level. All right, moving on. So this is a uh, Dunamis Messiah. So. Um, basically, its skill is that when at the end of battle this unit boosted, you may soul blast one, pay that cost. If you do, then choose a lock card, unlock it. 
Then, um, hmm, I'm still trying to read it. Then lock this unit. So, um, choose one of your units and it gets plus 4k. Alright, so this is a difference. Uh, this is like Sacrifice Messiah in, in that regard. But uh, it's more of like you basically unlock a unit to actually lock this unit up, which you can actually set up for multiple attacks. So I just dropped the card from there. Uh, but of course, it costs so blast one, so there's going to be a lot of so blast cost, which is why you know your, your draw trigger is there to help you replenish that. Uh, but yeah, it gives plus four k, and while it's not a, a effective replacement for 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 sacrifice messiah in my opinion, you need sacrifice messiah for his counter charge, which is actually really 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 good. Uh, moving on, so this is actually a your perfect guard. So you got four perfect guards. I believe this name is Oliver's Pangolin. So basically, it's your your old style perfect guards, which is uh, when you see him placed in the garden circle, then uh, you may pay the cost, which is discard one card from your hand. If you do, choose a unit that's being attacked, and that unit cannot be hit for that battle. So they give you four. Again, it's more entry level, easy in the entry level in that regard. And last great one that we have here is. Um, well, I can't read the name right now. Um, I'm not gonna try at this point in time because my brain is not working at the moment. So, but uh, basically, what this unit skill is that uh, when this unit boosts, doing a better this unit boosts, and then attack hits the Vanguard, uh, you may pay the cost, which is counter one. If you do, uh, all fighters choose uh, one of their rear guards and lock it. So this one actually helps you more in terms of setting up more locks for you to do any sort of unlocking that you want to do with the deck. So yeah, it's actually a really, really good card. Although it's 6k, but it's definitely much more better than certain cards uh, that's out there or has been released beforehand. Uh, I would say that this is actually an effective replacement for um, you know Prodigal, Providential Child of Gravity Collapse, which is actually uh, you lock your unit in the same column as this unit, and you get to draw one. Uh, it's about the same, except you get to target your opponent as well to have the locks, depending on what your, your strike is at that point in time. Alright, moving on to the last card in this set. Now, this is Neil Messiah Orion. So, alright, so basically it's your Forerunner, so it's your first Vanguard. Uh, and basically, its skill is that it's not bound to GB. Take note of this, it's not bound to GB. So, during your turn, uh, if your card is unlocked, uh, if you have a Vanguard, if you have a Messiah, if a Vanguard with Messiah in his name, you may pay the cost which actually put this unit into the soul. Then if you do draw one, then choose a unit, it gets plus 5k. So this is actually a alternate, I wouldn't say it's an upgrade, but it's more of an alternate to uh, the original Neo Messiah, which is actually in the original trial deck, uh, GPT-05. Um, GPT-05, TD-05, sorry about that. Uh, but yes, the fact that this is not limited to GB means that you can actually pop this off at any at any point on time before your strides. So if you need that additional draw, that's actually really good. If you need that additional power, you can have it right off the bat from there, which is actually also really, really good. But of course, it depends on your needs as well. If you find that you really want to search for your messiahs, maybe you want to go with Neo Messiah, but if you don't want to, Orient is actually really just as good uh, for, that, for that regard. So... Alrighty, so this is actually the entire trial deck uh, that's um, right here. So if you guys are excited to see this in action uh, with a fight vid uh, with a fight video, I just need to find somebody else across me in order to do that. Then do consider uh, you know subscribe to the Shield Cross Vanguard, guys. Like this video, let us know that, that that you enjoy seeing our analysis on these trial decks as well as unboxing videos and such. Go check it out as well. It's on the channel right now for C uh, for the Clan Booster, the CB06. Uh, which actually has boost for Messiah as well as other stuff over there. At the same time, also do follow us on all of our socials. We're on Facebook, Crossword Megas. We're on Twitter, Crossword VGS. We have a blog, CrosswordMegas.com. We can see the deck profiles like this soon when you see it in the, uh, the fight video. You can also see other deck profiles from there for all the fights that we've done. Event coverages, the booster pack as well. So if you want to see what else is in the, the clan booster, you can also check it out over there. And also join us over on Discord. So we're there most nice myself, Dempster Leon. You can hang out with us, talk, chat casually. You can find us over there much more easier if you want to, to either talk informally or you know find us over there. And last but not least, if you like what you see and want to support the show directly, do consider supporting us over on Patreon. The links are all in the description box below. So with all that said, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!